Hello, this is Joe Hammock, Senior Application Engineer with Danfoss Drives. And today I will be demonstrating integrating the Danfoss VLT drives into Rockwell RS Studio 5000. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. First off, we will need a couple of files. We can download those from the Danfoss website. You will need the Danfoss drives, Ethernet, you know, VLT, Ethernet IP, EDS files, and the Danfoss drives, VLT add-on instruction files for Rockwell Studio 5000. First, we will integrate the EDS file into the Rockwell system using the tools menu and the EDS hardware installation tool. With this welcome window, we can click Next. We will register in single EDS file. Click Next. Register a single file and browse into the EDS folder that we downloaded. We will pick one of the drives. We will pick the FC302 and the EDS file. Click Open. We will click Next. You get the green check mark, everything is okay. Next, it'll show you a picture of the icon and the drive. Next, and final summary. Click next, it will finalize, tell you it's successfully completed, and click finish. Now that the EDS file is installed in the Rockwell system, we can now right click on the ethernet connection on the left and select new module. In the library, we can select from vendors easily. We'll uncheck mark and click Danfoss and we'll see all of the EDS files that we installed previously as well as the one we've selected, the FC302, and we will click create. At this window, we have to give the drive a name. We will call our drive here, just drive one, and give it an IP address. We'll do a simple IP address. For, with you, for use with our add-on instruction block, we have to change the module definition. The default here is 100 and 150, but we'll click the change button here. And in this drop-down menu, we will pick the 103-153. This will open up from two words, two input and output words, to ten input and output words. Picking that, we see that the size has changed, but we will change this drop-down to an integer, and that's where we see the input ten integers, and input and output ten integers. At this time, we can also change the electronic keying. The default is the compatible module, which is fine for most installations. But you can disable this keying for future for future updates and stuff, so it's not to have an issue with the revisions of the drive. Click OK. Ask if this is this is OK. Say yes. And OK. Now we can add more drives, or we can click close at this time. And we see our drive on the left under its drive name one. And we can also see in the tags created in the controller tags under drive one. We see 10 input data words. And treeing it down, we see 10 output data words. Now we are going to import the add on instruction block. We will right click on the add on instruction on the left and, click and select import add on instruction. And we will navigate to the folder that we've downloaded previous for the add-on instruction for Rockwell Studio 5000. And we will find two blocks. There is the basic uh, add-on instruction block. And there's the flexible uh, add-on uh, control block. Flexible gives you a little more flexibility for um, add-on and, and extra words and such. The basic one gives you the basic functionality, start, stop motor current, speed it's running, reset. We're going to use the basic for this demonstration. 
and we're going to click import. Once it's done importing, it'll have create up here. We'll click just click OK in this window. Once it is finished, we will see it under the add instruction folder, the name of the basic block. Now to use this block, we are going to enter it into the main routine. We will just grab the name of the basic block and drag it up into the ladder and let go. And we see the block here with all of its uh, tags. Now we have to create these tags now into the controller system. This first blue box, we'll just right click and select new tag. And we will give this block a name. And we'll use something simple like conveyor drive and click create. Now all the tags, all well, these are created up in the controller tags. Now the only thing left for us to do is to link the COM status and the PCD data read and write to the drive we created down in the Ethernet connection, drive one. So the first question mark under COM status, we will double click, click the down arrow, and it will open up the controller tags and we see drive one input and we click the plus to, to drop it down and we will double click the, con the connection faulted, click OK. It will go down to the next automatically to the PCD read and we will do a drop down and the same drive input. And this time we're going to do drive input one data and we see the 10 input integers. Click OK. And then the write, which is the output data. So we will do the drive one O data, 10 integers. Now this block is ready for to use with drive one IP address down here. This gives you, this is the enable the block itself. This will start and stop the drive, reverse the drive. Give the drive a speed reference. This is in 0 to 100%. Give a reset to any alarms or warnings. We can see here a variable for the main actual value or the output percent the drive is running at and motor current, as well as some binary data when the drive is ready, whether it's an alarm or faulted. Warning, the drive is indeed running running at commanded speed or if there's a com fault. All of this that I have just demonstrated comes with the download file for the add-on instruction block step by step just as I demonstrated here. Otherwise feel free to give us a call at 888-DANFOSS and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Danfoss drives can provide additional technical support parts information or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call 1-888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us by email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ds.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs dot na at danfoss.com for after sales service the email address is drives dot ds dot service dot na at danfoss.com additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com for contact information in areas outside of north america please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com